Hi everyone, I'm Amanda and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make the beautiful Annabelle baby blanket. This crochet baby blanket is made up using the gorgeous waffle stitch. This stitch has great texture and it's so easy to work up. You only have to repeat two rows throughout the pattern. I finished my blanket off with a simple border. There are five rounds of double crochet stitches and then a round of shell stitches and then I made the final round using a yarn of contrasting colour to make a pretty trim. And I decided to weave a ribbon in and out and I added a ready-made bow as well or you can make your own bow but this step is completely optional the blanket looks absolutely fabulous just the way it is If you like to follow along with written patterns, I have a free written pattern on my blog. I'll put a link to that in the description box below. For this crochet blanket, I used paint box yarns, simply double knit, which is a number three lightweight double knit yarn. I used the color candy floss pink for the main color. And for the border, I used the same yarn in the colour paper white. And for the crochet hook, for the main body of the blanket, I used an F 3.75mm hook. And for the border, I used a G hook, which is 4mm. I'll put the links to all the materials that I used in the description box below. To begin, you'll start with a foundation chain that is a multiple of three. I'm making a small sample for this video, but in the free written pattern, I started with a chain of 135 for a baby size blanket. For row one, you're going to work one double crochet into the third chain from the hook. So counting one, two and three, you're going to work one double crochet into the third chain. And then for the remainder of row one, you're going to work one double crochet into each chain until the end of the row. For row two, you're going to chain two, turn your work, and this chain two counts as your first stitch. You're then going to work one double crochet into the next stitch, so into this stitch here. And then you're going to work one front post double crochet around the next stitch. And then you're going to work one double crochet into the next two stitches. So one and two. And this is going to form the row repeat. So you'll make one front post double crochet 
around the next stitch and then one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So I'll work this repeat with you one more time. So it's one front post double crochet around the next stitch. And then one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So there's one. And then two. And you're going to work this sequence all the way along to the end of row two. I've just come to the end of row two. I've worked my last front post double crochet and I just wanted to show you that you'll make your last two double crochet stitches as follows. So you've got your last double crochet here and then it's quite tight but you've got two chains that you skipped at the beginning of row one. They count as a, a stitch so you'll make your last double crochet into that second chain there. So I'll work one double crochet into this double crochet stitch here. And then I'll make my last double crochet into the top of the chain two. And it's really important that you don't miss that final stitch. For row three, you're going to chain two, turn your work, and then you're going to work one front post double crochet around the next stitch. So the next stitch is here. Remember that the chain two counts as your first stitch. And then you're going to work one double crochet in the next stitch. So in this stitch here. And then you're going to work one front post double crochet around the next two stitches. So there's one. And then we'll make another one into the following stitch. Here's two. And this is going to form the row repeat. So it's one double crochet in the next stitch. And then one double cro one front post double crochet around the next two stitches. So I'll work the repeat with you one more time. So it's one double crochet into the next stitch in here. And then one front post double crochet in the next two stitches. And there's the, the second one. So you're going to repeat this sequence all the way along to the end of row three until three stitches remain. I've repeated that sequence all the way to the end of row three or nearly to the end and I've got three stitches remaining. So I've got one, two and then the chain two here. So we're going to work the last three stitches as follows. We're going to work one double crochet in the next stitch. And 
and then one front post double crochet in the next stitch. And then into the top of the chain two, we're going to work one double crochet. And that's the end of row three. So for the remainder of this pattern, you're simply going to repeat rows two and three until your blanket measures 28 inches. So this is the wrong side of your work and this is the right side of your work here. You can see the little squares starting to form. So continue making your blanket and I'll meet you once I've finished working up this little sample and I'll show you how to work the border. So I've just finished my sample square and I finished at the end of a row two repeat. What we're going to do now is work on the border. And for this, you'll need to change to a G hook, which is four millimeters. So to begin the border, grab your white yarn or whichever color you want to use and come up to the chain two that we made at the beginning of the last row and attach your yarn and make a chain of two. So one and two and then back into the same stitch into the top of the chain two, make one more double crochet. And this will be part of the corner. Then what you're going to do is work one double crochet into each stitch all the way along to the end of the row. I've just come to the end of the first row and we're going to make the corner. So to do this, you're going to work two double crochet into the last stitch. So one and two. And then you're going to chain two, one, two. And then back into the same stitch, work another two double crochet. So one and then another one back into the same stitch. And there's the corner. We're then going to work down the other side of the blanket. And you can see here that you've got the squares. Into each square we're going to work three double crochet. So one, two, three. Any more than that and your border will begin to ruffle. It'll be too many stitches. So in here we'll work one double crochet. And then in here, into this little gap, we'll work another double crochet. And then we'll work another double cro crochet in here. And 
and then we'll come to the next square we'll work one double crochet in here another one in here into this little space this little little hole and then another one in here so you can see we've got our three double crochet I'll do it one more time just to show you there's your next square so we'll put one two three So there's one, two, and then the third one in here. So continue making your double crochet stitches in this way all the way down to the end of this side of, of your blanket. I've just finished working this side of the blanket and now we'll work a corner. So to do this, work two double crochet, one, two, chain two, and then another two double crochet. And then all the way along the foundation row, you're going to work one double crochet into each stitch. I've just finished working this side of the blanket. Again, we've come to the corner, so we'll work two double crochet. One, two, chain two, and then two double crochet. And then for the last side, we'll repeat what we did on the second side of the blanket. So into each square, we'll work three double crochet. So one, two and three and then into the next square we'll work three one two and three when you arrive at the last corner we started with two double crochet here into the same stitch so we'll finish by working two double crochet into the corner here there's one two
and then we'll chain one and then into the chain two that we made here at the beginning we'll make one single crochet and that's the end of round one for round two you're going to chain two and then you're going to work one double crochet back into the same stitch so it's a bit tricky to see but if you put it just pull it apart and then put it in here and then you're going to work one double crochet into each stitch all the way along to the end along to the next corner I've just arrived at the second corner so we've got the chain two here into the first chain work two double crochet and go through the actual loops of the chain So there's one, you can see I've gone through the chain itself and there's the second one, then chain two and into the second chain here we'll make another two double crochet. So there's one and then two and this is what you're going to do when you get to each corner. So you'll put one double crochet into each stitch all the way down and then you'll place two double crochet into the first chain chain two and then two double crochet into the second chain. I've just come to the next corner so I can show you again. You've got the chain two. So into the first chain. Just make sure I go through both loops. work to double crochet, chain two and then into the second chain work another two double crochet And then work one double crochet into each stitch all the way along the other side and repeat the same thing when you get when you get to the next corner. I've just come to the end of round two. I've worked my last double crochet into the last stitch here and you can see I've got one chain remaining. So into this chain I'm going to work two double crochet. So there's one and two. Then I'm going to chain one 
And coming over to the chain two that we made at the beginning of the round, I'm going to work one single crochet into the top of that chain two. And that's the end of round two. For rounds three, four and five, you're going to repeat round two. So really simple, working your corner stitches, working one double crochet into each stitch all the way along, working your next corner in exactly the same way as we did in round two. So work rounds three, four and five and I'll show you what to do when we get to round six, which is a really simple shell border. And then for the final round, round seven, we'll attach our pink yarn or yarn of another contrasting color. And we'll finish it off with a really simple edging. Now we'll begin working on round six, which is where we'll create our pretty shell border. So to begin, make a chain of two, one, two, and then pull it apart right in here at the base. Make three double crochet. So there's one, two, and three. So the chain two counts as a stitch. And this is the first corner. When we come back round to the other side, we'll work another four double crochet in here. Then what we'll do is we'll skip two stitches. So we'll skip this stitch and this stitch. And then into the following stitch, we'll make a slip stitch. Then we'll skip two stitches. So one, and two, and then into the following stitch, we'll make a shell stitch, which is six double crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So there's your shell stitch made up of six double crochet. You're then going to skip two stitches. So one, two, and then into the following stitch, make one slip stitch. Then skip two stitches. So one, two, and then into the following stitch, make another shell stitch, which is six double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then skip two stitches, one, two, and then make a slip stitch into the following stitch. So this is going to be the sequence of stitches. So you'll skip two stitches and then make a shell stitch, skip two stitches and then make a slip stitch. So repeat this sequence 
all the way along to you get to the next corner and I'll show you what to do. I've just worked a shell stitch here and I'm going to skip the next two stitches, one, two, and then into this stitch I'll make my slip stitch. And then we've got the chain two here at the corner. So what I'll do is into the first chain, I'll work four double crochet. One, two, three, and four and then into the second chain I'll work another four double crochet so one two three and and four. So instead of six in the corner, you'll put eight. And then it's a little bit hidden here, but into the first double crochet, just make sure you pull this back, we'll make a slip stitch. And then we'll continue with the same sequence. So we'll skip two stitches, one, two, and then we'll work a shell stitch. And then we'll skip two, one, two and then make a slip stitch and you'll just continue that sequence all the way down to the second corner I'm just coming up to the next corner here and I've got six stitches left one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm just going to fudge it a little bit just to make it work. So instead of skipping two stitches, I'll skip three. So one, two, three, and then I'll make a slip stitch into this stitch. And then into the first chain in the the corner here. I'll work four double crochet. So there's my four double crochet and then I'll work another four double crochet into the second chain. And then I'll skip two stitches. So one, two, and then I'll slip stitch into the following stitch. And then I'll just carry on the sequence as before. So skip two stitches and then make a shell stitch of six double crochet. One, two, 
then I'll skip two, one, two, slip stitch into the following stitch and I'll repeat that all the way down to the next corner I'm just approaching the next corner and I've got three stitches remaining I've made my shell stitch here so I'm going to skip two one two and then slip stitch into this stitch and then I'll work as before I'll make four double crochet into this chain and then into the second chain I'll make another four double crochet I've just worked my eight double crochet in the corner here and I'm going to slip stitch into the first double crochet here and then I'll work as before I'll skip two stitches one two and then make my shell stitch and then I'll skip two stitches one two slip stitch in here so continue with that sequence all the way to the starting point here and I'll show you what to do I'm nearing the end of round six and I've got six stitches remaining one, two, three, four, five, six. I've made my shell stitch and instead of skipping two, I'm going to skip three stitches. So one, two, three, and then into the following stitch, I'll make my slip stitch. Again, I'm just fudging it a little bit so that it doesn't pull too much and it looks nice, nice and even. Then I'll skip two stitches, one, two, and into the chain that we have here in the corner, I'll make my four double crochet. We're then going to cut our yarn, so grab your scissors and pull the yarn tail through and then we'll make a nice neat finish uh, by making an invisible join, so grab your yarn needle And we've got the chain two here. Come over to the next stitch. Insert your hook under both loops. Pull it through. And then come back over to the last stitch here. And insert your needle under the back loop. So We've got the front loop, insert it under the back loop, pull it through and then weave your end in.
We're now going to work on the last round, which is round seven. So to do this, grab your yarn of the contrasting color that you want to use. I'll grab my pink yarn here and come over to one of the shell stitches where you've got your six double crochet. And I'm going to count one, two and three and into the third double crochet going through the back loop only I'm going to attach my pink yarn and then I'll chain three one two and three and the chain three counts as a single crochet and a chain two and then I'm going to come over to the next double crochet and again going through the back loop only I'm going to make one single crochet and then into the next stitch going through the back loop only another single crochet And then into the last double crochet of the shell, I'll make another single crochet. Again, going through the back loop only. And then we've got the slip stitch in here. So I'm going to go through the back loop only of the slip stitch. and I'll slip stitch. Then moving on to the next shell of six double crochet, I'm going to work one single crochet through the back loop only, one, then another single crochet, two, and then I'll make a third single crochet through the back loop only. So there's three. Then I'm going to chain two, one, two. And then I'm going to work three single crochet through the back loop only. So there's one. two and three and then coming over to the slip stitch here I'm going to slip stitch into the back loop only so we're going to work this sequence all the way around the blanket so you'll work three single crochet through the back loop only, chain two, and then three single crochet through the back loop only, and then slip stitch into the back loop only of the slip stitch. I'll do it one more time. Make three single crochet through the back loop only, one, two, three, chain two, one, two, and then one, two, and three, single crochet through the back loop only, and then slip stitch into the back loop only of the slip stitch here. I've been working the pink trim around the blanket and I just want to show you what to do when you come to the corners. So if you remember we've got eight double crochet in the corner. So instead of working 
one, two, three, chain two, and then one, two, three. We're going to work four single crochet, chain two, and then four single crochet. So one, two, three, and four, chain two, and then one, two, three, and four. And then slip stitch into the, the slip stitch that follows. And that's how you work the, the corners of your blanket. So repeat this sequence all the way around to the end. And then I'll show you what to do when you get to the, the starting point. I'm nearly coming to the end of round seven. I've just worked my corner here and I made my slip stitch in here and now I've got two double crochet left so I'll work one single crochet and then another single crochet and then coming over to the beginning chain three I'm going to come over to the first chain and make a slip stitch. And then I'll grab my scissors, cut my yarn. Pull it through and then weave in my, my end. The final thing that we're going to do is we'll weave a ribbon through the middle of the border. So to do this, grab your ribbon and I put a safety pin just through the end here. And then you're going to count one, two and three. And into that third row, this is where we're going to weave the ribbon in and out. So if you come over to the corner here and you've got three stitches, one, two and three, come out just after the third stitch. And then count another three, one, two, three, and go under and then count one, two, three, and then come out. And then one, two, three. One, two, three, come out the other side. And you're just going to continue weaving your ribbon in and out all the way through the third row. So one, two, three. So you'll have two rows of double crochet, one, two, your ribbon, and then another two, one, two rows of double crochet. And just a little note about safety, if this is going to be a baby blanket, I would 
put a few stitches um, periodically along the back to secure the ribbon because you don't want baby pulling the ribbon out, it, it could become a hazard. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos that I upload. Thanks for watching.